All right, welcome back. In the last video, we did a couple or several different um, cycles of the moment distribution, and we summed all the moments um, for each side of the joint. And so our sum of moments is down here. That's that's what we got. Now we need to figure out uh, what the direct shear, auxiliary shear, and total shear are. So if you remember, the direct shear is the shears if we pretend that each span is just a simply supported beam. So for A, B, all you would have is just A. That's actually a very bad, bad drawn uh, span there. So we had 40 here, and if we had just a simply supported beam, um, then that means this is 40. Um, so that means the reaction here is um, 30 and here is 10, right? So if you just did like summation of moments about a certain point, you get 40. Or you can see that since this distance is 10 and this distance is 30, you know that the reaction here is going to be 3 quarters of 40. And then the reaction here is going to be 1 quarter of 40. So the direct shear for span AB is 30 on the left and 10 on the right. So I'm going to write 30 on the left, 10 on the right. For span um, BC, we have 2 kips per foot times 30 feet. So that means the total going down would be 2 times 30, which is 60. So that means on the left side, the shear would be 30. On the right side, it should also be 30. So I'll write that down here. So you have 30 and you have 30. And this is going up. Oops. Uh, this is going up, this is going up, and this is going up, right? And then finally for span CD, 60 is acting right at the middle of CD, so that means the reaction on the left and the right are both going to be 30 kips going up. So 30 here, 30 here, it's going up, it's going up. For the auxiliary shear, remember, for the auxiliary shear to find the magnitude, you sum the moments on that span and you divide by the length. And to get the direction the auxiliary shear is going, you take your final answer, the sum of the two moments, uh, divided by length, and then you switch the sign. And that final sign is going to give you the direction. So let's find the magnitude first. The, the sum of the moments on spans A, B is two, negative 211.786 plus 101.428 divided by the length and remember the length was 40 feet for span AB and you should get 2.756 2.7 2.7 2.7 and if you summed the negative 211 and the 101, you'll obviously get a negative answer. You take that negative and you uh, flip the sign and you get a positive answer. So that means the auxiliary shear is positive. And you know positive sign convention, positive shear sign convention is clockwise, right? So that means on the right side it's going down, on the left side it's going up. Okay, so for span BC, I'm going to write Actually, let me write, here's A, this is B, this is C, this is D. The sum of the moments is the negative 100 plus the 196. That's, um, actually, you, you sum 100 and 196, the negative 100 plus 196. You divide by the length. The length is 30. And you should get... Um, 3.19 on both both sides and the sign convention is the negative 100 plus the positive 196 that's obviously a positive answer you flip the sign you get a negative answer and that means the shear is negative and you know this is this sign convention is used for um, negative shear so that means it's going counterclockwise. So that means on the right side it's going up, on the left side it's going down. Okay? 
and then again auxiliary shear for span CD um, the length is again 30 so you you take the negative 196 plus the 239 divided by 30 should give you 1.435 here and 1.435 here and since the sum of the moments at span CD is negative I'm sorry positive you flip the sign you get negative that means the shear here is going counterclockwise on the right side it's going up on the left side it's going down okay the total shear is just your direct shear plus our, your auxiliary shear so 30, point, 30 plus 2.756 is 32 let me write that a little neater 32.756 and that's going up right because both of these arrows are up so here you have a 10 and then you have a minus because it's going down minus 2.756 you have 7.24 going up and on this side you have 30 minus 3.19 gives you 26.81 and that's going up and then on this case, on this side you have 30 plus 30 or 3.19 you should get 33.19 and that's going up and then you have 30 minus 1.435 uh, that's 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 a positive answer it's going up and it's 28.565 and this side you have 30 plus 1.935 or I'm sorry 1.4 that's a 4 sorry 1.435 um, you should get 31.435 going up so that means um, so we figured out all the all the uh, reactions or the shears on each side of the joint uh, to find the reactions um, on side A it's just 32.756 and that's going up on joint B it's going to be all the shears acting on joint B which is a 7.24 plus 26.81 and you should get 34.05 and that's going up at joint C you should get 33.19 plus 28.565 uh, you should get 61.755 going up and finally this is just 31.435 going up okay so these are the four reactions happening at joint A B C and D alright so this is the moment distribution for a pretty in-depth example um, in the next video we'll actually draw a shear and moment diagram if you want to see that alright so see you then